Well, earlier I spoke to The Guardian journalist Nick Davis, who wrote the original newspaper report alleging that News of the World journalists had deleted voicemail messages from Millie Dowler's mobile phone. I asked him if he accepted that he got part of the story wrong. One element has now come loose and is, in a, is a matter of dispute, and that is this. Who was responsible for the particular deletions of Millie's voicemail messages which led to that false hope moment? At the time when we did that story in early July, all parties agreed it, that it was the news of the world who'd done the intercepting and the deleting. Since then, the crucial fact that's emerged is that the private investigator who was working for the news of the world hadn't been tasked at the point when those crucial deletions took place. The point Good. of the messages being deleted by, at the behest yeah. of the News of the World, to make room for more messages, yeah. was an important Understood. part of your story, wasn't it? And it was one of the yes. important reasons why this inquiry was called, one of the reasons that led finally to the closing down of the paper. No, I think now, now you're losing track of reality. So it is certainly true that the, the point about the news of the world allegedly deleting the messages which caused the false hope was an important part of the Millie Dowler story. I would say it was the second most important thing in that story. It was not the most important thing in the story. It's certainly not the reason why the news of the world closed or why the Leveson inquiry was set up. When we write stories like this as journalists, we get 100% yeah. of it right and not just 80% yeah. of it or 70% of it, especially when you have consequences yeah. like this. Yes, certainly. All journalists try to get their stories completely accurate. And what happened on this occasion was that all of the available evidence indicated that everything we said in this story in early July was correct. You will have noticed that for five months, nobody from any corner offered any kind of denial to any part of the story. New evidence that was not available at that time has now emerged. It confirms every single point in this story except for this one very important element within the story. That is now confused, and we're trying to get to the bottom of it. But give The Guardian a bit of credit. This has all come out into the open because we discovered about the new evidence and we published a story Friday evening on The Guardian website, Saturday but, morning's paper. But, so we're updating the story because the evidence that was available at the time has itself been updated. The police have changed their right. position and therefore we've reflected that. Do you honestly believe that all the consequences that have been triggered by your story would have been triggered yeah. if that crucial yeah. part of it had not been included? Yes, absolutely, without any doubt at all. If you take away the entire deletions and false hope moment from the Millie Dowler story, you have still got the missing schoolgirl uh, having her voicemail hacked, the private messages being listened to, and this is in the context, A, of the ongoing police inquiry, the, the, the success of the civil actions forcing News International to throw in their hand, and this sequence of other stories about the families of the Soham girls and Sarah Payne and the seven, uh, seven victims and the 9-11 victims. It, it really is a fantasy being put about by some of those who always wanted to conceal the truth about this, that this latest development um, indicates some significant defect okay. in the course of this scandal. The scandal has many, many roots.